everybody. Brent from Rocky Run Angus Ranch. Uh, this video is going to be a little bit of a lot of things. Calving, fence, gates, junior rancher, <laughs> um, bull. This is the cow that like doesn't like me very well after she's had a calf. And she had her calf this morning. So it's time to process it. But I'm bet you 20 bucks she's not gonna let me very close. So I got the side by side sitting outside. I got a couple options. I can shut that door, open the bottom of the calving pen and try to get the calf in there. Bring the side by side in here and Block the calf off or even grab the calf and shove it inside the side by side and process it. So, you gonna be nice or not? Just as I expected. Why can't you just be nice? I just want to take your baby. I'm not even gonna hurt her. Yeah, don't you come running over here, you little turd. You'll get me run over. I'm about 15 feet from her right now. Little heifer calf. Am I gonna have to take other measures there, cow? Cause I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay, hard way it is. I'm not sure if you can hear me now over the side by side, but I ended up taking the side by side measure and it actually worked pretty good because the calf is young enough yet and slow enough that I could just kind of cut them off or kind of get in between them. And she stayed on one side and the calf stayed on the passenger side, so I just jumped out and worked the calf, I guess. Until she started figuring it out and started coming around the other side. Then I got back in real fast. She's not very nice. Back at it again. She's been out of the while. She's also the one that rejected her calf last year after a really hard pull. So I left work two hours early to come home and check on her and make sure she takes this one. No third chances here. <clears throat> Don't really look like bottle calves that much. Drop some fresh bedding. The calves are playing, they're loving it. Right? You ugly little turd. How are you little ones? Sure, let's out a little bit more for you. Got some snow, we're getting some moisture. Thank God. 
are getting so dry that I think the cows are feeding the calves evaporated milk. Oh, it, was, it was really freaking dry. The driest January through March on record from what I understand like ever like in North Dakota. This cow had her calf, huge bull calf. This cow is the one that last year gave me the heartburn. Um, she, uh, she had a big calf and required assistance. So we pulled and it was a really hard pull. And, uh, well, she rejected it last year, but she's being a mom now. Super happy. Oh, was, she, she was taking a while, as I mentioned before. And finally, she laid down and, you know, you kind of know when they lay down and they're, they're going to get to it. And uh, she laid down and she let me, I walked up behind her and the bag was over the calf's head yet and everything. So I just had my pocket knife, so I just kind of reached up and found the front of the nose and it kind of slipped the bag open in front of the calf's nose and opened it up and grabbed his front legs and kind of just gave, her a, gave him a pull and didn't take too much and pulled him out. She laid there for about five minutes and got up. And I walked away and checked it. It's a bull calf. Stuck some straw in his nose, helped him get going and anyways. He's up and going, he's trying to nurse on the wall. It's not gonna work out so well. But anyways, I'm gonna get out of here and let them bond since she's actually being a mom this time. Let him nurse you, stupid ass. Sometimes you do what you gotta do. See that mom over there? She ain't happy. But she doesn't realize we got her calf. Right? Yep. Got the new bull. Um, he was just delivered today. It is Sunday. And it is not very nice outside. It is like... 34 degrees out and windy. We had a little blizzard this morning. That was kind of interesting. But, anyways, flipping around here. Look at this. I've seen a 30 footer. This panel, 30 feet long. Down there, 16 foot gate. Right here, 14 foot gate. Right there, little four foot farmer. <laughs> or monkey, I should say. And these are the open heifers. Pretty happy with them. They're looking nice. She obviously just lost a tag. And here's the new bull. He is a blood runner son. Um, his name is actually uh, Broadhead, but he's a blood runner son. He's purebred Simmental. Um, I can't 100% remember his EPDs, I'd have to look him up, but I believe he's got like a 92 pound birth weight. He's not a, a heifer bull by any means. Um, he's gonna be a cow bull, or like a second cavern up. Um, he's delivered about uh, two and a half, three hours ago. They're getting their stuff worked out here yet. But he has grown quite a bit since the sale, actually, surprisingly. Um, but, but it's cold out here? You're cold? Oh, I know, it's not very right warm. We'll wrap her up quick, bud. But yeah, I, I built this 30 foot gate. Um, I was originally going to go from the corner of the building up there down to that second post. But when I brought this down here, and I was trying to figure it out. This gate had this whole panel flopping around all over the place, so 
this is just what it became, which is okay because it gave them a little bit bigger area to roam in. But they can get into this building here for shelter. Um, anyways, I'm pretty happy with him. He looks looks pretty good. So, anyways, um, just had the tool. Just had 22nd calf this morning. Um, hope this wind isn't playing heck with the sound. 22nd calf this morning, going good. Um, only had that one set of twins die on me that we spiked the calf on, as you've seen that in one of the last videos. Um, I do have another cow giving me a little trouble. Um, last year she was a really, really hard pull and I, uh, she just completely rejected the calf, 100%. She wouldn't even think about it. I had to lock her in the head gate just to get the calf to nurse and you know get him some colostrum last year. Well, this year, the first day, or as soon as it was born, nice big bull calf. Um, she accepts it, loves it. It's her calf, definitely, which is great. But she doesn't really want to let him nurse anymore. I don't know where the wires got crossed at, but, um, oops, she's definitely got a short circuit somewhere, I think, but, you can go get in, buddy, cows aren't going to hurt you. Looking good. Calves all over the place. Can't see most of them right now for whatever reason. A few more here, a few of them here. They're kind of scattered all over up there. And probably in the barn and whatnot. It's kind of hard to see right now, but there's a calf up in the shelter up there. That would be belong to oops, this cow right over here. She's the one that is kind of being a butthead. So. Um, when the calf is kind of really, really hungry and being slow about trying to drink, um, I have to lock her in and open up both sides so that she can get in there and drink. And, uh, I guess it is what it is. Um, but I know if I lose a calf or something, I'm definitely going to take that calf and spike it on and mom is going to go down the road because she's making me mad. And I'm not going to give her a third chance. Unless for some reason she gets the wiring issue figured out and figures out how to be a mom and let her calf drink. So she has a nice udder. She's not sore or anything like that. I've checked her out. Her calf is kind of a little bit of a knucklehead. Only wants to drink off of one quarter. But um, once I get the calf around the other side nursing, she stands for a while and she kind of starts kicking and she's. She's just kind of dumb, I think, so. Anyways, we're going to let that play out until something happens, so. Um, really? Really what? The calf is licking a tire. The calf's licking a tire? Oh, gosh. She's going to clean the tires off for us? Maybe we should wait and let her clean them all off. <laughs> Anyways, thanks, everybody, for watching. Um. Hope everything's been going good. Hope calving season's going good if you're calving. Um, otherwise, I hope you have a good spring. And take care, be safe, and we'll catch you on the next one.